A marin glacé, plural marins glacés, is a confection, originating in southern France and northern Italy consisting of a chestnut candied in sugar syrup and glazed. Marins glacés are an ingredient in many desserts and are also eaten on their own. History Candied chestnuts appeared in chestnut growing areas in northern Italy and southern France shortly after the Crusaders returned to Europe with sugar. Cooking with sugar allowed creation of new confectionaries. A candied chestnut confection was probably served around the beginning of the 15th century in Piedmont, among other places. But Marin's glaces as such with the last touch of glazing may have been created only in the 16th century. Leone and Cuneo dispute the title for the addition of the glazing, or icing, that makes the real marin glacé. The earliest known records of a recipe for marin glacés were written during the 16th century by an Italian cook that worked for Charles Emmanuel I, Duke of Savoy, 1580, and by the French at the end of 17th century in Louis XIV. S. Versailles Court. In 1667, François-Pierre Le Varenne, ten years. Chef de cuisine to Nicolas Chalon du Blay, Marquis of Uccles near Lyon and a chestnut producing area, and foremost figure of the Nouvelle Cuisine movement of the time, published his best selling book Le Parfait Confiturier. In it he describes Le facon de fer marin pour tireur au sec. The way to make a chestnut so as to pull it dry. This may well be the first record of the recipe for marin's glaces. Tireur au sec means, in a confectionary context, to remove what's being candied from the syrup. Le Varenne's book was edited 30 times over 75 years. Nevertheless, that book was not mentioned, nor indeed any other, when the recipe applied to cocoa beans, was in 1694 passed on to Jean-Baptiste Labat, a French missionary in the Martinique. That year Father Labat wrote in a letter of a recipe for candied and iced cocoa beans which he had tasted when dining at a M. Pocket. S. Another early citation, still in French, is from 1690. Towards the end of 19th century, Lyon was suffering from the collapse of the textile market, notably silk. In the midst of this crisis, Clement Fagier, a bridge and roadworks engineer, was looking for a way to revitalize the regional economy. In 1882 in Privas, Ardèche, he and a local confectioner set up the first factory with the technology to produce Marin's glacés industrially, though many of the nearly 20 steps necessary from harvest to finished product are still performed manually. Three years later he introduced the creme de Marin's de L. Ardèche, a sweetened chestnut puree made from Marin's glacés broken during the production process, flavored with vanilla, later came Marin's au cognac in 1924, puree de Marin's nature in 1934, Marin's au naturel in 1951, and Marpoms in 1994. The same process was used by José Posada in Orense, Spain, in 1980. He was the first businessman in Spain to build a factory to produce Spanish Marin's glaces using Galician raw chestnuts, which previously were exported to France to produce the confectionery. Posada used the French and Italian formula to produce the Marin's glaces. Today, there are two factories that produce Marin's glaces in Spain. Chatain or Marin The French refer to chestnuts as Chatain or Marin. Both terms refer to the fruit of the sweet chestnut Castanea sativa. However, Marin tends to denote a higher quality, larger fruit that is more easily peeled. The fifth edition of the Dictionnaire Dictionnaire de l'Académie Française. Revue, Corrigé et Augmenté published in 1798 states that a Marin glacé is a confit Marin that is covered in caramel. The 1767 book L. Agronome, au dictionnaire portatif du cultivateur claimed that the best marins came from the Dauphiné region in southeastern France, and contained instructions for preparing marin glaces. Chestnuts are covered with a membrane, known as a pellicle or a pisperm, which closely adheres to the fruit's flesh and must be removed because of its astringency. Marin nuts have a pellicle which is superficially attached to the nut, making it easily removable from the fruit. Some chestnuts have two cotyledons usually separated with deep grooves penetrating nearly all the way through the fruit, this makes them too fragile for the necessary manipulations during the cooking process. There also are other grooves on the surface, which means more embedded pellicle that must be painstakingly removed. Marin 
Quality nuts do not have the separation into two cotyledons, it appears in one piece and it shows few very shallow grooves. In Italy, the term marin denotes a specific high-quality cultivar of Castanea sativa bearing oblong fruits with a shiny, reddish epicarp and often exhibiting a small rectangular hyalur scar. As with the French use of the term, there should be no division of the cotyledons. Marin quality nuts for marins glaces may be three or four times more expensive than the chatain because they also have a lower yield as the husk usually contains only one or two nuts and the plants have sterile male flowers. Uses Marins glaces may be eaten on their own. Creme de marins are a staple ingredient for other desserts, such as the Mont Blanc pureed with cream, ice creams, cakes, sweet sauce or garnish for other desserts. Cultural references In the short story Reginald 1901, by Sake, the narrator leaves Reginald near a seductive dish of marins glaces at a garden party in the vain hope that these delicacies will distract him from wreaking social havoc. In the Overture to Swan's Way, Marcel Proust refers to M. Swan bringing to Marcel's great aunt on New Year's Day a little packet of Marin's glaces. In Patrick Skeen Catling's Children's book, The Chocolate Touch, Marin's glaces are among the candies listed as the sweet toothed young protagonist's favorite confectionery delights. In the 1936 film Camille, Greta Garbo S character asks for sweets, and Robert Taylor's character goes to some trouble to find fresh Marin's glaces for her. In the 1899 novel The Awakening by Kate Chopin, on a comfortable night Edna Pontellier dines alone, she describes Marin's glacé as just what she wanted. Local variants Turkey Candied chestnuts are a speciality of Bursa, Turkey, where they are called kestain sakari. Chestnut candy. See also Media related to Marin glaces at Wikimedia Commons Lyonnaise cuisine Notes <laughs>